Fire Emblem. Engage. Ah, uh, Rosado. This was always meant to be our fate. I know. This had to happen. The last thing I want to do is fight a friend, but our destiny is inescapable. Agreed. We have no choice but to battle it out, here and now. Fair and square. Let's do this! Cool versus cute! The superior style wins! You're a devoted student of cool, while I've dedicated my life to the pursuit of cute. A twist of fate brought us together. And now it's up to us to decide which force is stronger. So, here's what we're going to do. You find the cutest object you can. I find the coolest object I can. Then, the big reveal! We show these objects to one another. And whoever's heart is most captivated, loses. You're on. I'm gonna bring something so cute your heart will explode! Do your worst! Whatever incredibly cool object I bring, it's going to blow your mind. With that out of the way, let the captivation competition commence. The battle to determine the superior style. Cool or cute. Cute or cool. It's on, Rosado. You ready? You bet I am. This is the moment your heart is stolen away forever, Marin. Hit me with whatever cute object you brought. I'm ready. Feast your eyes. On this! What's that? A drawing of some sort? Oh, no, no, no. Take a closer look. This is a drawing, to scale, of none other than the Northern Illusion Miniature Woolly Hair. What? No! The Northern Illusion Miniature Woolly Hair is so tiny and so fluffy and so adorable! Look at it! Mm-hmm. I happened to come across the little one, so of course I took the chance and sketched. And in such detail! <sighs> you know how much I adore rare creatures? I hate to admit it, Rosado. Your cute drawing has captivated my heart. Looks like I win the day. Not so fast. You haven't seen what I brought. It's an ornamental hairpin. And there, inlaid among the filigree, is a detailed wyvern design. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! It's the coolest thing I've ever seen! I know what a big wyvern fan you are. Your heart didn't stand a chance. I mean, look! Each and every one of its fangs has been painstakingly crafted. The craftsmanship is over-the-top magical and over-the-top cool! <laughs> cool! Uh, cute! This contest is a stalemate! Rosado, I think I finally figured something out. We've been at these cool versus cute offs for a while now, and we still can't declare a winner. Agreed. There's no resolving this. You've won me over with every single cool thing you've brought. The same goes for me. I've adored every single cute thing you've shown me. There's only one thing we can say for sure. Coolness and cuteness are both amazing. Yes. It doesn't matter which one wins. What matters is both are great. I'm sorry I dragged this ridiculous competition on for so long. What do you mean? It was totally worth the effort. Now we know that coolness and cuteness measure up equally. Hold on. What is it, Marin? You were very cool just now, Rosado. Many times cooler than I've been lately. Ah, I could say the same about you, you know. But with your cuteness... Your satisfied smile every time you got me. That was so beyond cute. <laughs> Thanks, Rosado. So, how about this? Let's just keep mastering our own, individual, equally amazing styles. I like it. You continue to be the genius of cool, and I'll keep aspiring to greater heights of cute. We can be rivals and walk different paths. And we can still cheer each other on. <laughs> yes! Rosado and Marin, best foes forever. <laughs> Picture perfect, Hortensia. 
Huh? What did you say? Look, I drew your picture. I can draw real fast. It's my not-so-hidden talent. See, it's practically a mirror. And look how beautiful you are. Seriously? I'm staring off into the distance. I look boring. Here, do it again. I'll pose for it properly this time. I like this one, though. Are you joking? It's awful! The expression doesn't... express me at all! Here, this is my good side. Draw me again. Nah, your first expression's better. <sighs> this is an order from your princess. Fine, fine. Make the face again. Done. Is this what you wanted? Perfect! Be sure to throw that other one away. We can't let future generations think I was some boring girl always staring off at nothing. There's nothing boring about you. Yeah, she's just wrong. This expression is way better. Hey! That's the portrait you drew of me staring at nothing! I told you to throw it away! Why is it still here? I'm sorry, but also kinda not. I really like what I see in this picture. Well, I don't. And it's my face. Get rid of it. If you really hate it that much, okay. Why is this at all difficult? Because it's a picture of the real you, not the fake smile you put on. You used to be so expressive. Like back at the academy. Remember? I can't, Rosado. I, I can't dwell on the academy. I don't get to do that anymore. I'm a princess. And that means I keep smiling. All the time. Forever. Well, that's a load of royal duty. <laughs> yeah, but it's what we get. And that's why that picture has to get tossed. Understand? Yeah. Farewell then, honest Hortensia. This is too many corrupted to take on. Hortensia, we have to retreat. <sighs> no. I've got this. I can handle it. Look out! Rosado, no! <laughs> Rosado, I was trying to protect you. Let's get out of here. No one's dying today. Rosado, come back to me. Don't be dead. <sighs> You're awake! Are you alright? Do you recognize me? Yeah, sure, sure. Just nod it off for a sec. Nod it off? I thought you were dead! Wait, what's the paper fo- Are you drawing? <laughs> Picture perfect, Hortensia. What? You're not even hurt? Uh, nope, but take a look. You really are beautiful this time. It's right when you woke up. I look so... relieved. That is a pretty good one. You're right. I used to make faces like this more when we were in school. Usually when the history teacher called on someone else instead of you. Hey! So, can I keep this one? <laughs> Fine, but you can't show it to anyone. Of course I won't. <sighs> Thanks for looking out for me. I feel like you're always saving me from something. If you want to pay me back, just show me the real you once in a while. That's all I want. <laughs> Deal. You're much more than just a retainer to me, you know. You're my friend. And as long as we're friends, I don't think I'll have any trouble being myself. Hmm. You can look. I don't mind. Uh, what? You've kind of been staring at me. It's okay. I know I'm adorable. You were admiring my cuteness, right? Admire away. Oh, well, I suppose you're not wrong. I do appreciate the way you take care of yourself and your appearance. Your hair is so shiny, it practically glows. Your skin, it's the picture of health. I'm dying to know what your beauty secret is. <laughs> Aw, thanks so much. I don't have any beauty secrets, though. That's not possible. You have to be doing something. Watching what you eat, exercising vigorously, uh, something? It's not possible to look like you without putting in some kind of effort. If you're telling the truth, it's just not fair. I put a lot of work into being me. 
I don't know what to tell you. I really don't do anything special. Please, maybe it's something you're not aware of. Or maybe you're just keeping your secret from me. Either way, I'm going to figure it out. As a dancer, my craft demands it. Alright then. Rosado is taking a nap. Um, cute. Um, yeah. You must have some kind of secret beauty regimen. I mean, just look at him. Though, I have been keeping an eye on him and I still can't figure out what it could be. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ugh, what a terrible position to sleep in. Absolutely awful for one's posture. Hmm. Sleep is supposed to be good for the skin. But that can't be it. Everyone sleeps. I must remain patient. He's bound to do something interesting soon. I feel great this morning. So, he just woke up and now he's washing his face. I'll finally learn his secret. With skin that dewy, he must be using a special moisturizer. What could it be? I have to know. <laughs> How strange. No moisturizer at all. He washed his face and then just moved right on to washing his hair. And he's not even using shampoo. Hmm, <sighs> nice and refreshed. Now, time to find some breakfast. What? No oil-infused conditioner or, or scented styling cream? He, he didn't even try it. Is this really happening? Does Rosado truly have no special beauty routine? No. I bet it has something to do with what he eats. Surely that's his beauty trick. I will not give up until I figure this out. If Rosado can look that... incredible... so can I. Um, um, mm, mm, mm. The roast chicken's delicious today. Want some, Cedal? Oh, spirit of the cards, cast your divine light and reveal Rosado's beauty secret to me! No one can be that beautiful and not have a trick up their sleeve! <laughs> He lives as he pleases, and he eats as he pleases. And here I am, being so particular for the sake of my dancing. Foregoing flavor, spirit of the cards. Are you really and truly and totally certain he does nothing at all special? <laughs> Have you been studying my routine? If so, you shouldn't need to ask. You've already seen that I don't do anything special. <sighs> I suppose you're right, Rosado. It's just incredible that you do nothing at all, and yet always look so... good. No need to be jealous of me. You can live however you want to. That's the secret. Living however I want? Hmm. Is avoiding the sorts of food I truly like actually taking a toll on my dancing? Perhaps the secret to looking and feeling great is just... living a life guided by one's desires. All my focus on flavorlessness is taking the flavor out of my artistry. That's it! It has to be! Rosado's way of life proves it! Alright then. I'm not going to deny myself the things I love anymore. I'll eat roast chicken dipped in all kinds of honey sauce. Sweet, spicy, extra sweet, extra spicy. From here on out, I'm going to eat whatever my heart desires and sleep whenever I want. Hope he doesn't overdo it. Too much of anything is no good for you. Ah, uh, well, no harm letting him indulge himself a while. The important thing right now is he's happy. He'll figure out the rest as he goes. Hey, Rosado. You're looking cute, as always. Thanks so much, Prince Fogato. I'm getting cuter by the day. At this rate, I'm pretty sure I'll be gorgeous forever. <laughs> no doubt about it. I bet your cuteness stretches on in perpetuity. Hmm... You really think so? I don't know, you're not exactly selling it. I don't feel a ton of heart behind those words. They seem a little empty. Oh, how hurtful. I'll have you know, I am nothing if not sincere. Yeah? Prove it. Tell me how adorable I am. Say it like you mean it and I'll believe you. Alright. You are... how to put it... 
as lovely as a delicate blossom in a solmic oasis. That's a little better. So, am I the cutest you've ever seen? Hmm? Oh, no, definitely not. What? I'm sorry. What? You know, I just remembered something I have to do. The prince business. See you around. Hey, wait a second. What do you mean, definitely not? How am I not the cutest? Prince Bogato, come back! Hi, Prince Bogato. Hey, Rosato. The sun stays shining and you stay cute. That's right. I'm always cute, aren't I? I'm even cuter than the last time you saw me, aren't I? Agreed. And your confidence really heightens it. You really mean it this time, right? You're really, really, really telling the truth? I swear up and down, I'm telling the truth. Then, you'd say I'm the absolute cutest ever? Well, not the absolute cutest ever. Oh, so cruel. I was sure I misheard you last time. Why do you keep saying that? Are you lifting me up on purpose just to knock me down? <laughs> calm down, calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? The prince with the sharpest eye doesn't even think I'm all that cute. It's not that, Rosato. I'm just not a big believer in comparisons. What do you mean? This, that, or the other. It's just not my style. You're cute. No need to make it into some big overblown contest. Know what I mean? I... I guess I get it, but I don't know. I guess I'll think about it. Just one more final touch and there! A perfect landscape. Rosado! Drawing again, I see. What beautiful scenery. Oh. Hey, Prince Fogato. And your face is every bit as beautiful. Really? You think? Oh, thanks so much. Wait, no, I'm not falling for that again. I know how this goes. The second I ask you if I'm the very cutest, you'll turn on me again. Sorry, I told you, I don't do comparisons. Is it wrong of me to love all beauty equally? Mm, I guess you're right. You've been nothing but nice to me and I've been kinda arrogant. It was wrong of me to obsess over being cuter than everyone else. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. There's no shame in aspiring to be the best. I have one way of thinking about the world, and you have another. We're allowed to disagree, aren't we? And to respect our differences? Respect our differences? Yeah, of course. I guess instead of digging for more, I should learn to take your compliments at face value. <laughs> exactly. You keep being adorable, and I'll keep complimenting you. Then we're both happy. Yeah, I'm adorable and that's a fact. Hall's right with the world. <laughs> there you go. And may I say, I love seeing that beautiful smile of yours. <laughs> go on, tell me more. Hey, Mavier. Rosado. Are you always this, uh, tense? I do not intend to be. Come on, relax. How can you stay grumpy looking at this cute face? Grumpy? Well, such is my life. As for cute, I have little experience. Please see my reaction as uneducated rather than rude. Oh, that's it. I think I get it now. Get what? You're uninitiated. You haven't developed your cute sense. No wonder you're a bit of a grump. I can help with that. Let me teach you all about cuteness appreciation. Get you enjoying life. That is not necessary. Are you kidding? It's top priority. Not being able to feel cuteness is like... It's like not being able to taste the heat in a spicy stew. Hmm. I do appreciate a spicy stew. Okay then. Teach me about cuteness. Yes! Leave it to me. You're gonna love this. Okay, look at this accessory case. Seems kinda ordinary, right? Wrong! Bunny ears! Uh, isn't that the most adorable thing you've ever seen? I agree that it looks like a rabbit, yes. Okay, more straightforward. What about this handkerchief? It's got pretty summer flowers. Mm, the embroidery is quite well done. But as for what is cute about it, I am sorry. I cannot see what it is you want me to see. Hmm, 
You're a tough one, but I still think we can make headway. Let's get down to basics. Think of a time in your life when your pulse was racing, when your heart fluttered. Fluttered. You know. Ah, uh, it's so cute. I can't stand it. If I must look a moment longer, I fear I will die. Like that. Oh, I know. My heart did flutter when I was struck by an enemy's poisoned arrow. <sighs> There's nothing cute about poison. I am sorry. I do not think I can learn the ways of cute. As a child, my education by worshippers of the Fell Dragon was a time of great suffering. Their brainwashing did not work, yet I was left with absolutely no connection to cute. I do not believe I am capable of learning its meaning now. Mavir, don't give up. My apologies. I must be going. Hi, Mavir. Rosado, have you come to lecture me again on cute? I thought I made my stance clear. You did. And I know my timing wasn't great. I don't think someone as kind and focused as you can put the war aside until it's over. I am rather focused, yes. Lack of focus leads to defeat, in battle and in life. You have seen what I could not. If I had realized it myself, I could have spared you the trouble. For that, I apologize. No, don't apologize. But if it's okay with you, I'd like us to make a promise to each other. What kind of promise? Once the war is over, once there's peace, let's make it a point to broaden your horizons. Once there is peace, you say? <laughs> you are a strange one. I think you would be more fulfilled if you spent your days with other people. I'm not making this promise with them, though. I'm making it with you. I appreciate that. So can we call it a promise? We'll explore the cuteness of the world together in peacetime? If that would please you, then yes. We shall travel whenever you like. Together we shall see cute, and we will eat only the spiciest of stews. Oh, uh, right. Spicy stews. Sure. Whatever's fun for you, we'll do it. <laughs> I look forward to it. Hey, Gold Mary, could you teach me how to cook? I could, but why the sudden interest? I've been thinking. When it comes to cuteness, I'm obviously miles ahead of you. Excuse me? But you're still better than me at a lot of things, and cooking is one of your many talents. So I figure, if I really want to compete with you, I should learn. How hard could it be? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm still not past the part where you said you're miles ahead of me in cuteness. Really? Well, we can come back to that another day. The important thing is I want to learn to cook, and I want you to teach me. What do you say? <sighs> not the most flattering way to ask for a favor. But since we're friends... <laughs> All right, I'll teach you. Yes! Thanks, Gold Mary! Soon I'll be adorable and multi-talented. I suppose we'll see. <sighs> Dang it, Gold Mary. Why are my omelets not as good as yours? I followed all the steps you showed me. What am I missing? There's a trick to it. You'll pick it up with practice. Why is cooking so much harder than eating? <sighs> Maybe I'm not cut out for this. Giving up already? <laughs> You've only just started. It's not that I want to give up. I just don't want the stress of being bad at something. You know, Rosado, you have so many wonderful qualities. Aw, thanks. Wait, why are you complimenting me all of a sudden? In fact, you're one of the most charming people I've ever met. Giving up just because you weren't perfect right away, though. That's the only thing that could ever make you look like a loser. Oh. Ah, uh, well, I guess it can't be helped. You've already decided you don't want the stress. Consider our cooking lessons cancelled. Wait, no. I want to keep going. <laughs> you do? Yes. Let me take dinner shift tonight. I'll make omelets for everybody. That should give you all the practice you need. Well, Gold Mary, how's the omelet? Excellent. You got the texture just right. I knew you could do it. That's why I didn't want you to quit. I stuck with it because of what you said. I'm one of the most charming people you've ever met. But I'll be a loser if I quit too easily. Well remembered. They were familiar words. 
Hortensia said basically the same thing to me back at the academy. I know. She told me about how you first behaved when you started there. You were so focused on being popular that you completely neglected your studies. Yeah. She said no matter how cute or charming I am, I'll be a loser if I don't apply myself. It's not enough just to be cute. I have to work to improve, too. You reminded me of that. I'm so glad. It wouldn't have looked good for me to be friends with a quitter. <laughs> then again, if you really were a loser, we would never have become friends in the first place. I'm still not sure I understand why exactly you wanted to learn to cook, though. I'm trying to be... your equal, Gold Mary. You always have my back in battle. I want you to feel like you can trust me, too. So I guess you could say I'm trying to... grow. As a person. That's very sweet. But I have to ask... How is your being a good cook supposed to help me trust you on the battlefield? <sighs> it's all right. Even if all your hard work means nothing, I'm still proud of you. <sighs> okay, okay, you made your point. <laughs> Don't worry. I trust you with my life, whether on the battlefield or in the kitchen. Good. I won't let you down. You know what, Rosado? You're quite cute. I've always thought so. Oh, I'm so flattered. Thank you. The fact that you're so consistently adorable, well, I admire that. What's your secret? Hmm, not sure I've got one. I guess I just try to be my best self. I think about who I am inside and I bring it out. Yeah? Sure. Appearances matter, but true beauty is what's inside. Even the most fashionable ensemble is useless if you don't feel it. You've got to believe in you. Mm, so that's why I'm not cute. There's something wrong with what's inside me. What? Lapis, you're gorgeous. No, I'm not confident at all. Really, there's a lot that I'm self-conscious about. Like the fact that I eat grass and shrubs. Or that I'm so dang strong. I didn't catch all that, but I can tell by your face it's serious. This really matters to you. Whatever it is, why don't we talk it over? I'll gladly lend you an ear. Really? How kind. I appreciate that. And I appreciate you. Come find me anytime. Hey, Rosado. Can I ask you something? It's about what we discussed the other day. Sure, sure. You said the secret to cuteness is confidence. Well, how did you find your confidence? Hmm, I don't know. I think it must have come from how I was raised. I see. I was born in a village near the Lake of Mystery. Some people call it the Village of the Fair Folk. It's a place of wonder, beauty, beyond the silly expectations that come with stuff like gender. Wow, I've never heard of such a place. Everyone accepts everyone there. However you see and present yourself, you're beautiful. That was my normal growing up. It was a big shock when I left, seeing how different I was. But I realized I love being different. And I want everyone to know being different is amazing. You're saying being different is good? Not just good. Amazing. Your differences are what make you unique. What make you... you, in a way. Being apart from my home village has made me even more confident in who I am. Huh. So your uniqueness became a source of confidence. I like that. <laughs> me too. And if it helps you at all, that makes me even happier. Thanks. Everything you've said has resonated with me. Let's chat again soon, all right? Of course. Anytime. Rosado. I want to thank you for sharing with me the other day. The truth is, I'm different too. Tell me all about it. I want to know everything unique about you. Uh, well, my family is, um, poor. Very poor. It's always made me feel like an outsider. Just being poor would be one thing, but I also like wild plant life and I'm scary strong. I end up kind of fixating on my weirdnesses. That makes it hard to feel confident. None of this sounds bad to me. You know tons about plants. You're super strong. That's great. <laughs> when you put it that way, they almost do sound like positives. 
but... Still hard to talk about sometimes, though, isn't it? Yeah. If it'll help, I'll give you an embarrassing truth of my own. I've always admired you, Lapis. Wait a second. You admired me? Yup. Even from the time we were enemies back at the Grand Crossing, you were swinging that huge sword around. You were so powerful, so stylish. I remember thinking how jealous I was. How I could never do something like that. Uh, really? Really. How did you get so strong anyway? Is it all from your training? No. It's because I fought off a lot of bears back in my hometown. Bears? Well, I guess we can say your strength goes all the way back to where you came from. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Thank you, Rosado. Hearing you say all that, I'm feeling much more confident. One day I'll be able to say with pride, I am who I am because of my hometown. Maybe not uh, anytime soon, but someday. I think that's a wonderful goal. When the time comes, you can announce it with the flourish of that huge sword. <laughs> of course. I'll get an even bigger sword so you can't possibly miss it. What's the matter, Louis? Can't take your eyes off me? Indeed, Rosado. I find you positively enchanting. Wait, really? In every movement and speech, you are a fountain of energy. To my eye, it is sublime. <laughs> I was teasing, but I love your honesty. I thought you were mainly interested in seeing people socialize, though. Is it the same thing to watch me without anyone else around? It's not so different. Some people display boundless reserves of energy even when alone. When you spot a puppy gambling in the road, is it a lesser sight for having no playmate? No, of course not. I rest my case. You're a fascinating guy, Louis. We never talked much before, but now I really want to get to know you. And I you, Rosado. To that end, why don't you join me for tea? I could serve it in a very charming tea set. Amazing. Let's go. Really? You don't think they're cute? Don't test me, Rosado. I will never bend on this. Look closer. Not even a little? Not in the least. They contain not a single iota of cuteness. Weird. I know you like grapes, so I thought you'd like these little guys, too. I guess sea grapes aren't for everyone. They are also seaweed, not grapes. They are vile pretenders to the name. I despise them. They resemble real grapes, but they are salty, and after eating them, so was my language. Huh. Well, I like them. They're like cute little balls of ocean. They taste like the sea. I is that so? My apologies, then. What are you apologizing for? I try to appreciate the things my friends like to the extent that I can. However, I draw the line at sea grapes. <laughs> it's fine, Louis. We can like different things and still remain friends. Truly? Then would you object if I continue to observe you? I should hate to abandon the sight of my dear Rosado going about his day. Of course! Get ready to burn the image of my cuteness straight into your eyes! Consider it burned! Hey, Louis, hold still a sec, okay? Paper and ink? Are you drawing a picture? As I recall, you have a knack for drawing landscapes with both speed and skill. Yup, my not-so-hidden talent. But what is your subject here? The scenery around us is somewhat drab. You silly! I'm gonna draw you. I want a picture of you and me together. I'll add myself later. But wouldn't a simple self-portrait be much more attractive on balance? I should think so. Maybe, but that's not what I'm going for. My own cuteness isn't important for this one. I beg your pardon? I want a picture with you, Louis. I want a way to remember my friend when he's not around. Why, Rosado, how sweet of you! <laughs> I try. Would you mind if I wore a mask? A mask? Just because it's not all about looks doesn't mean I don't want to draw your face. It was only a suggestion. Keep your suggestions to yourself. Everyone else blushes and does what I say. Why are you the difficult one? Forgive me, I'm happy to be part of your art, of course, but it's also a bit embarrassing. I'm not... Uh, cute. Let me stop you there. You're absolutely cute, especially when you're embarrassed. This is just a little memento for us to look back on, that's all. If you don't want it, that's fine. 
But picture me, years from now, an old man, desperate to remember my dear friend Louis. Very well. For the sake of my friend and his passion, I shall accept my fate. Thank you. Okay, hold still a minute. This won't take long. Someday we'll want to look back on this moment. Now we'll have the perfect visual aid. If I must endure this to commemorate our friendship, then I shall do so gladly. Hello, Rosado. If you have a spare moment, there's something I'd like to ask you. Let me guess. You want to know the secret. How'd I get to be so cute? Sorry, I don't have an answer for you. I've always been adorable. I think it's destiny. No, that's not my question. Aw. Your energy seems to be limitless. I heard you can work all night and be fine the following day. Oh, that's true. Staying up all night is no big deal to me. I'm always fine the next day. Ah, I envy that. I'd like to be that way too. If I were able to work through the night, I could get so much more writing done. Can you give me some advice? You know, I've never really thought about it. Pretty sure I just coast through the night on cuteness. I'm sure you could do it too. Your energy comes from cuteness? Strange. But I suppose it's worth a shot. I've never tried to be cute before. I'd really appreciate some pointers from a professional. Jade, you came to the right place. Let's bring out your inner sparkle. Ready, Jade? Today we set your best self loose. Set loose? I don't think I'm actively restraining any part of myself. I'm not sure what to do. Do what comes naturally. Strike a pose, say a phrase. No wrong answers. Be you. Hmm. Very well. Uh... shucks a doodles <laughs> Perfect! Yes! You're beautiful! Really? That did it? Really? Now introduce yourself to me. Tell me who you are. shucks a doodles I'm Jimmy Jammy Jade. Jade, I promise I don't say this to everyone. You're a natural. Over the top, adorable! Huh. Are you okay? Something wrong? I'm fine. That was my laugh. There's no way this tactic will help me work through the night. It's totally ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's a shame. So, does the road to cuteness end here for you? I think not. I'm having a good time. I want to see how much further I can take this. It's definitely inspiring some new joke ideas. Yes! I'm going to be there every step of the way. hey -o, Rosie Rosado. Having a shucks a doodly day? Jade, you're incredible. Every greeting you give me is cuter than the last. I must admit, this is a bit addictive. It's fun to turn this on without warning. What a wonderful monster I've unleashed. Good for you. Thank you. It's liberating to relax and be silly like this. I know I don't look the type. That's true. Your face is like a marble sculpture. Classy, majestic, beautifully mysterious. Sometimes I wonder if I should make an effort to express myself more. That mysterious air is exactly what's unique about you. Don't you dare hide it. Well, shucks a doodles. I won't. There she is. So cute, I can barely stand it. I'm glad this little experiment led to us getting to know each other, Rosado. I may not have found any secret wells of energy to help me write through the night, but these cute lessons will definitely help me flesh out the quirks of some of my characters. It's been fun to think about what makes something cute. Interesting creative exercise. Thanks for sharing a bit of yourself. These chats have become very special to me. <gasps> you are the essence of cute. The way your true feelings shine through, like a sunbeam, pure and radiant. Thanks, a doodles. But I still have a lot to learn from Rosie Posy Rosado, cuteness maestro. <laughs> High praise. Thanks. What'd you think of the party, Rosado? Arr, arr, arr! <laughs> oh, incredible! If it's always this fun, I want to do it every day. Every day, huh? Even to me, that sounds kind of exhausting. I guess it's different for you. You're from the village of the Fair Folk. Sure am. I hear people there can go all night long and not even have shadows under their eyes. 
I've even heard you can eat and drink to your heart's content without getting full. Gotta tell ya, I'm jealous. I wish I could do that. I'm relieved you're only jealous about it. Huh? What do you mean? Some folks think it's a bit... creepy, actually. <laughs> How ridiculous! Don't pay any mind to them. They're just too proud to admit that they're as jealous as me. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Right on. Well, I'll come knocking next time there's a party. Best be ready. <sighs> you seem a little glum, Pandreo. Had a little too much fun partying. Yeah. No. I wish that was the only thing bothering me. Well, what's the matter? I'm happy to listen if it'll help at all. Well, it's not the first time it's happened, and it won't be the last. See, some uptight clerics have sent my church a formal complaint. Ah, uh, right. Your church is a little unusual, isn't it? I've heard you make the whole thing accessible with lavish parties and adorable fashions. And putting up big signs with directions to the church. Apparently to serious people, tactics like that are... <clears throat> Unbefitting the dignity of the church. I mean, come on! We're pulling in more and more new followers every day. They're so focused on the bad that they can't see the good. It's infuriating. Yeah, that must be frustrating. Thanks for letting me blow off steam. Just another day or two in the doldrums and I'll be my peppy self again. I'm sure you will, Pandreo. Hey, Pandreo. Take a look at this. Huh? It's a landscape I drew of your church. Whoa! You made this just for me? Why? Something I wanted you to see. Look, this lady. She was really there. She looks so happy. Yeah, I captured her face exactly as you see it. She was overjoyed to be at your church. I see. So I really am helping people. That's what I've been working toward. Giving people some joy in their lives. And you've been doing a fantastic job. Before, you said folks get so focused on the bad that they can't see the good. I think that's kind of true of you too, Pandreo. I... Huh? What do you mean? You've been looking so hard at the bad that you're completely missing the good. Hmm, you know what? You're exactly right. Thanks, Rosado. That makes me feel a whole lot better. From now on, no more doubting myself. I'm gonna keep my spirits high. Then let's bring the party back tonight. Oh, I am so in. Hello, Rosado. Divine One, have you seen my latest drawing? Oh, I have. An old well deep in a forest. A single sunbeam illuminating a lone flower in bloom. You conveyed a perfect balance of warmth and isolation, light and dark, just breathtaking. <sighs> exactly. You saw all that right away, didn't you? You would not believe how much time I spent hiking in the woods to find that view. But to hear your experience, to know you understand, makes it all worth it. Finding beautiful things, then sharing them with friends who would never see them otherwise? <sighs> you found a lovely hobby, Rosado. I can't wait for your next piece. Aw, sweet of you to say. Hmm, but if you're expecting more, I need to raise the stakes. Hey, maybe you could help me. There's a spot I want to get to, but it's a tough hike. It would definitely help to have a buddy. I'd love to come along. <laughs> Great, thanks so much. The world's cutest is here to wake you up. You're a picturesque sleeper, you know that? Actually, I should draw you. For posterity's sake. I'll just make sure I've got the cheekbones right, and... There we go! Good morning! Oh, this? A little sketch I did of you sleeping. I think I'll put it up in the cafe. Oh, why not? Only me. Just here to make your room super cute. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Ribbons, flowers, bells. Hmm, gonna need a bigger bell. Oh, perfect. Let's see how this sounds. Whoa, too loud, too loud! Oh, sorry about that, Divine One. I was trying to give you a cute surprise. I'll clean this up. <sighs> Need some water? Thanks. Whew. We've come a long way. Are we close? If the rumor I heard in town is true, yeah, we should be. Rumor? We came all this way for a rumor? Yup, quite a rumor though. The spot we're looking for is supposed to have a view worth any risk to see. If it's even close to true, nothing can keep me from it. Not distance, not exhaustion, not thirst. I admire your passion for your work, Rosado. More like a passion for everyone's likes, but thanks. Likes? Oh, you know, smiles, compliments, all the ways people enjoy my work. Every time I hear someone liked a drawing, I'm that much happier and more motivated. <laughs> it's definitely uplifting when someone can see and appreciate what you do. Speaking of, we're almost there. Come on! The drawing's important, but so's the journey to get there. Let's enjoy it, you and me. <laughs> Lead on, Rosado. Divine One, I need your advice. It's about Camille, my wyvern. Still out, huh? The Divine Dragon never seems to lack for sleep. Probably rests easy every night, just like me. Almost as cute, too. <laughs> Almost. Sorry to wake you. My wyvern's having trouble sleeping. She wants to play all the time. I thought you might know a way to help her calm down. Though I've never seen a wyvern sleep like that. You sure sleep a lot. I get why folks are always coming by to wake you up. I keep reminiscing about our little adventure. I had such a great time. I wonder if you're dreaming about it right now. And you're drooling. Were you dreaming of a delicious breakfast, Divine One? That was adorable. As far as I'm concerned, you deserve a like. Your rendition of that landscape came out stunning, Rosado. I saw it on display in the cafe. Everyone who walked by seemed to stop and stare at it. Oh, I'm so glad. It was worth the trip, right? It was, even if we almost drowned crossing that river on the way. And that pack of wolves that chased us, I really thought we were going to die. But that's all just fond memories now. And the view we found made it all worth it. Thanks again for coming with. I couldn't have drawn that piece without your help. I've been meaning to ask you, Rosado. Is your passion for art really only about likes? What? Watching you draw that day. It felt like maybe you had another goal, beyond validation. I guess... I do. The world is filled with so much beauty. Most people only get to see a little of it. Ah, oh, true. It's impossible for people to see everything on their own. That's such a waste, isn't it? There are forms of beauty out there we don't even have names for. Unique, precious things. If I can show people even a little more of the diversity in the world, I'll be happy. It'll mean I've helped build a world where folks accept and appreciate each other's differences. Opening minds by showing them new things. <laughs> Didn't know you were such a profound thinker. <laughs> Maybe I'm just showing off. <laughs> Not at all. 
I have a lot of respect for you, Rosado. Even more now. Thank you. That means a lot. Want to join me the next time I go looking for a new landscape to draw? I'd love to. I'm eager to see what you show me next. My search for cuteness has brought me here. The Divine Dragon's hair is super cute. Hmm, I'm jealous of the color. I wonder how that style would look on me. Oh, did I wake you? I'm so sorry. Go back to sleep. I'm off to search for the next cute thing. Hey, Divine One, can I ask you about a drawing? Oh, you're asleep. I've been thinking. Scenery is great, but it might be nice to branch out. Hmm, what should I draw next? How about this bug? Aw, you don't like my bug drawing? In that case, you find my next subject. Come on, let's go. Hey, Divine One. You think I'm cute, right? <laughs> of course. You're adorable. Glad we're on the same page. That should make this easier. Since I'm currently the cutest person in your life, there's something I want you to have. Uh, okay. Here it is. What do you think, Divine One? A hair clip? Oh, that's beautiful. Nothing but the best. I got it back home, in the village of the Fair Folk. I'm grateful. But why are you giving this to me? Because if you wear it, then you'll be the cutest person in your life. Me? The cutest? That's right. As an expert on the subject, I believe I'd know. In fact, you wouldn't just be the cutest in your own life. You'd be the cutest in mine, too. <sighs> I'm sure you understand. It isn't easy for me to admit something like that. But I can't help it. You're that special to me, Divine One. That deserves... a like. <laughs> what? I'm glad you said something. I feel the same way about you, Rosado. You're my closest friend. I'm so grateful to be a part of your life. Aw, Divine One. So, there's something I want you to have as well. The Pact Ring? This is a precious gift. Are you sure you want me to have it? I can't just give you a like and leave it at that. This is a gesture more in line with how I feel. In that case, I'll happily accept. It's an adorable ring, after all. Fitting that it came from you. And since this kind of cuteness goes with everything, I think I'll wear it all the time. Please do. Nothing would make me happier. Let it serve as a reminder of our everlasting friendship, then. No matter what happens, as long as you see this on my finger, you know I'll be there for you. I'm here to see the cutest in the world. Still out cold. Tired of being the world's cutest already, huh? It can be an exhausting job. I should know. You brought this on yourself, though, being so adorable. Well, my friend... It's time to get out there. The world needs you. Open your eyes, Divine One. There you are, awake at last. Are you ready to assume the responsibilities of the world's cutest? I'm here to support you anytime you need it. That's what friends are for. Guess who? <laughs> like you wouldn't know the voice of your closest friend in a heartbeat. Oh, that's my hair clip. 
I'm glad you keep it close. I've got the gift you gave me, too. The Pact Ring. I'm tempted to draw a picture of this thing and show it off. I don't think I'm actually going to do that, though. Some things are too special to share with the rest of the world. I want to keep this just between us. Morning. You're even adorable in your sleep. I should draw you snoozing so the whole world can see. Nah, I wouldn't do that to you. I just wanted to see your reaction. Fire Emblem. Engage.